Hey guys, and welcome back to another mod review. So this mod is called Asian Adventures and it's by Nando. And they have created this Asian inspired world called Sakura Hills. And I'm so excited to take a look at it and show it to you guys. This is my first time seeing it. This mod, it has early access um, as I'm filming this today, which is March 27th. And then it will be released to the public on April 6th. That's 2020 if you guys are seeing this years later. So if you're so excited, excited for this mod and to check it out make sure you hit that like button don't forget to hit that subscribe button if you have not already and turn on your notifications so you never miss another video let's go ahead and take a look at this mod so the first thing I'm going to do is just give you guys a little bit of information that the creator Nando has posted along with the mod so just so you're informed before we take a look so this is from their patreon post so it says welcome to Sakura Hills this world transforms forgotten hollow into a beautiful place filled with cherry blossoms and stunning sunsets. Some of the changes listed, brand new foliage, completely recreated lighting situation, changed visual effects for bigger impact, added new barbecue area with picnic tables, brand new map view and world icon, new Japanese inspired gates and fences for the world, remove fog, added option to make the world a destination world. And then it says, note, The Sims 4 vampires and get together are required for this to work. The Sims 4 outdoor retreat is recommended, but not required. It looks like there are also some specific installation instructions. So it's not just like downloading other mods. There's just an extra step. So when you download the mod, there will be a folder and it does have instructions on there. So just make sure you read those carefully in order to get it to work. They do say that if you encounter any bugs or issues, please head over to the official discord so i will link all that information in the video description below and then as soon as this actually is released to the public on april 6th i will put the link to download it and then for now i will put the link to nando's patreon so if you do want early access or if you just want to support him because he clearly put in so much work into this then you guys can do that as well so let's go ahead and get started and check this out so just from the world icons in the welcome screen so it looks like it is still called forgotten hollow on here i think there is some sort of mod that lets you rename your worlds though. I don't have that mod, so I don't know too much about it, but I will try to find the link and put that in the description below if you guys are picky about it and want this to be called Sakura Hills. But as I mentioned in the post from what Nando said, this does replace Forgotten Hollow. So I'm not sure how I feel about that. I'll explain it as we go. Why don't we just go ahead and at least take a look at this first. I did replace the buildings with Asian inspired buildings just to give us a little bit more of the vibe of the world. I still haven't actually gone into the world and seen it yet, so I'm excited to do that for the first time with you guys. I mean, just from the world map, this looks gorgeous. It's so, so pretty. I love all the cherry blossom trees. Cherry blossoms are my favorite. And then we have the mountains and then like rivers. It's just very, very accurate to the Asian landscape. Now, if you are new to my channel and if this is the first video that you are seeing of mine, so I actually have a royal family. Let's play series on my channel. Um, if you want to check that out, I will put the links to those playlists in the description below. There's two seasons. The first one does have a hundred seasons. And then the second one, we're on the second season right now. I'm on like episode 30 of the second one. And if you don't want to watch all 100 of the first one, you don't have to. I did the second one so that way you can start at the second season if you want to. So yeah, I'll put those links in the description below. But my point with that is that I have a bunch of different kingdoms inspired by different cultures in my series. And one of them is an Asian inspired kingdom and I turned Glimmerbrook into an Asian inspired kingdom. So I actually end up, I, I usually call it Guangxi because Guangxi is a form of Glimmerbrook in Mandarin. So I have a royal family that lives there and it works pretty well, but it's not what I would love. There's no cherry blossom trees like this. That is why I'm just so excited for this since this is basically just forgotten hollow. So it's the same amount of lots. So we have five lots, the biggest one being 40 by 30. I did move move my current Empress, Empress Araminta, into here just so she can show us the world. All right, so, oh my gosh, so this is the world. This is amazing. So this is the house where Vlad's usual home is, like when you first open the game. Oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. This palace is called the Glimmerbrook Palace in the gallery. I actually just did a palace and castle video showcasing the palaces and castles that my viewers have made in the gallery. So that one you can just download 
download. I just downloaded all of this. I didn't build any of this. I'm not a builder, but like, look at this. The landscaping is so perfect. The cherry blossoms are beautiful. I am impressed. This clearly took so much work. I can totally see this because there are just like rocks everywhere in a lot of different Asian countries. And this is based off of Japan specifically. Even the trees, if I'm thinking this correctly, because the one thing about Glimmerbrook that bugged me is that I'm just getting very specific. This is just me being, being very nitpicky, but in Glimmerbrook, there's just so many evergreen trees and pine trees everywhere and China doesn't have that. So that's like the only thing that was like out of place for me. But this is like, they did, the, everything's correct. They did their research. And it's just the fact that this is from Forgotten Hollow. Like they have changed everything in here. I do have a ton of mods and custom content in my custom content folder. So far, nothing is glitching, which is very cool. There is also a trailer that Nando had posted for this world. So I will link that in the description as well. It's just like a lot of screenshots and just like world panning so you guys can see. I will go over some frequently asked questions that Nando had posted though. So here's some frequently asked questions. So what does the mod pack include? It says the mod pack includes a complete rehaul of the world Forgotten Hollow, including a new map view and new world icon. Changes to the seasons are currently being worked on. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so this is summertime right now. So I, I'm kind of just curious. I want to see if we make it snow, what exactly happens? It doesn't sound like anything is really going to happen, but I just want to, I just want to check. Okay, we're going to do heavy snow. We'll just make this last for like 10 hours or so. I don't know how long it's gonna take to actually snow. I'm gonna get Araminta inside because otherwise she's gonna be like really, really cold. So it is snowing in here. I'll just go over the, oh wow, this is really pretty though when it snows. <gasps> Wow. Okay, let's see if it actually fills up with snow while I go over the rest of the questions. Again, what packs are required for this to work? You need Sims 4 vampires and the Sims 4 get together for this to work properly. I might be working on vampires only version for the future. Okay, so then that means that you wouldn't need get together if they work on a future one. Then it does say, does this replace the world forgotten hollow or does it add a new one? So unfortunately the technical possibilities are limited. Therefore you have to decide between using forgotten hollow or Sakura Hills, which is this world. It's a beautiful world. You can really name it anything because the world isn't actually named on the thing. It still says Forgotten Hollow. So you could name it something else if you wanted to. Next question is, when I replace Forgotten Hollow, what happens to the vampire related gameplay objects? And then he answers, harvestables, etc., are still where they are. There were no changes made. Next question is, does this install like a regular mod? Yes and no. Please check the attached installation text file that comes with the download. And then last question is, when is the mod coming out? So the mod comes out March 27th. I'm Patreon as early access later on April 6th as the public release. And I did look at their Patreon. It looks like they're working on a lot of really cool things. So I'm very, very excited. Unfortunately for mods, that means that this is only for PC users. This is not, or Mac and PC users. This is not for people who play on console. If you are unsure how to download mods in general, I will link to a how-to video on how to do that. But just remember that you'll have to read the instructions when you download this, because it is a little bit different. There's just like an extra step you have to do with this mod. It does not look like the world is filling up with snow or anything. So, I mean, that's understandable. That's exactly what he said, that it would change with the season. So work on that. So I'm just going to change this back to sunny. Um, so that way we can just check out the rest of the world as so we can take a look. And then that'll pretty much be it. I think, I don't think that there's much else to look at here. To find the other lots, I just typed in Japanese because I, this, palace here is a little bit more Chinese inspired, but the rest of the buildings are more Japanese inspired. Oh, it's getting nighttime too though, but you guys can, oh my gosh, <gasps> you guys can see this during sunset. Wow, this is amazing. But okay, so this is the little square. So they've added a little picnic area. It said it does not look spooky at all. So that's good. It does not look like Forgotten Hollow. It's just the same layout as Forgotten Hollow, but everything else was pretty much taken away. Okay, so this is nighttime. It's about 10 p.m. in the world right now, just so you guys can see it at like different times. I honestly probably give this mod like a 10 out of 10. This is so, so cool. I have so much respect for the creator. I think I did see something that they were working on for Sulani. I 
for it. Let me check exactly what that was. So they are working on a Sulani forest mod. It doesn't say when that's gonna come out yet. It just says that he's working on that. So when that does come out, I'll do a review on that as well. But yeah, so that's basically it. I'm just so excited that there's more, I've seen more Asian custom content out recently. And now we have like an actual Asian themed world. I'm gonna poke at EA and just say, if they ever see this video, please come out with more Asian inspired things. I was really happy that they had like the Lunar New Year stuff come out for free, but I mean, you know, still, that's there wasn't really that much. But yeah, let me know what you guys think of this mod. Let me know if you download it and how you like it, because I think it's beautiful and I definitely recommend getting this. It's just, this is awesome. Modders are great. I have so much respect for you guys. Thank you for everything that you guys do for the Sims community. We are all so, so grateful. If you guys need help finding Asian-inspired custom content for when you do download this world, I have a bunch of different ones. I have mostly Chinese-inspired ones just because that is my royal family. Right now, Araminta, she's wearing mostly black clothing because she's in mourning in my series right now. But I have like so many different versions of, like this one is one of my favorites and this one comes in a bunch of different colors too. I do also have a custom content video that has a bunch of different custom contents from my different worlds. So I will link that in the description below as well. So there's a bunch of different cultures in there, including my Chinese inspired outfits too. And then I also have a Pinterest board with most of my custom content on there. I don't have a specific category for different cultures, but I will actually, let me try to do that. So that way you guys can see more Japanese and Korean and other Asian inspired custom content as well. But I'm gonna go ahead and end this review here. I hope you guys enjoy this. I hope you guys get this. Definitely, I recommend it. It's beautiful and amazing. Again, let me know what you think in the comments below. Make sure you hit that like button if you enjoyed this as well. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.